Okay. Woman center. Right to life or whatever the building, the abortion clinic on the side. There was a big fire a couple of days ago. So here we are. What's your name? Robert Lee Fisher. Patty Fisher. Patty and Robert, you guys uh, live here? Yes, yes we, we do. do. Where? We lived way upstairs there, we're the very top floor where the fire has started. Up huh. On the very top floor and uh, we lost. How long you lived there? We lived there for about four, four years. years. What was it there? How must have been hot out there? It was hot. Uh, uh, we went to bear with it, but it's just we had a couple of air conditioners in there, and we did, and uh, we had a couple of air conditioners yeah. and a fan, and cooled the place off somewhat. Do your laundry there? Did the laundry? Yeah. Everything was heated and lighted, washer dryer. 620 a month. You have any uh, any uh, reason to know what uh, how the fire started? No, uh, I don't want to say right now because no. we don't know for sure. So no. I don't know for sure. No, okay. No, I'm not a cop. I'm just say like yeah. me, like me when my place caught on fire. I was an idiot. I left some clothes on top of my stove because I had no clothes hanger. So uh, you don't think you had something on or anything? No. But, but no. anyway, okay. So enough of that. Kitchen wasn't burned because I know it wasn't the stove. No, it wasn't the stove. Nothing. So, okay. There's no scandal here. It started in my bedroom. I can say. Cops never talked to you. No. Cop no. talked to me a couple times. Asked me to go to the police station and wait for the Red Cross. I said no. I'd rather wait here. I don't. I don't want to go into the police station. I don't blame you. <laughs> no, I don't blame you at all. So uh, no problem. So there's a uh, so okay. So then you got the fire. You, when did you hear you had there was a fire? You were in the mall. I was at the Legion Mall buying a couple pairs of pants and some shoes for a new job. I was going to start on a uh, pair of some pants. Pair a couple pairs. Legion Mall. Yeah, Legion Mall, Walmart. Walmart. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, got it. I uh, got a call from you. Alarm company saying the alarm was going off and the alarm and then two minutes later called me back said the place was on fire and I said oh it's crap I never said crap said your word but <laughs> oh, yeah, no, hey, uh, it's all right uh, the church right across yeah there, but that's okay no <laughs> I can go repent <laughs> uh, yeah exactly uh, but anyway uh, they told me and I tried to get a cab it was not one cab when I mean, you don't want a cab there's like 15 of them there but when you need one real bad to mm -hmm. get in there. no cab no cab but must have been about half an hour to wait for so a you cab. show so you show up here by the time i showed up here the place was still smoke, cops, smoking smoking cops, fire, but cops firemen firemen ambulance ambulance anybody approach you uh uh some people approached me like the police or uh some uh fire detective Oh, Whoever fire detective. The uh, inspector. And, and they asked you if you lived he there? He asked me what what you think happened. And of I course. I told him what I think happened. But Did they I give you a lie detector test uh, no. right there? No, they didn't do that. Okay, that's all right. You would pass it anyway, so it doesn't matter. So anyway, so they asked Maybe you. Maybe because my nerves are bad that day. I don't, I would have probably would have. <laughs> exactly. It don't matter. Days. I'm just being sarcastic yeah. here. So anyway, turn around, detective. What did detective say? So uh, Detective asked me for our names and... Where we were, and we mm. told them we were up in the mall, and what time we left, and okay. we locked up the tent. So then, one. then you're homeless. Yeah. So then anybody step forward? Uh, yeah, some one, one or two people stepped forward. My friend Kelly, she uh, took us in for the night, and then we went to the hotel. And okay, so a and, friend stepped forward. Yeah. Did, uh, anybody, a social worker? You were on welfare, right? Yeah, Red Cross came, but no Red social Cross. workers were around. Red Cross right. came. So what, yeah. what did Red Cross do? Red Cross kid took us their name and stuff like information and called hotels. All the hotels were booked. For Saturday not, night. For Saturday night and it was one hotel room available. One. In this where? city. Wasn't none. Where's that? Wasn't no hotels in this city. Where where did you stay? Where did they we, find one? We put us the next day in uh, oh, next the Walk Hotel. Walk. Okay. But that day there was no hotel. No hotel at all. Wasn't for there. Kelly, you would be on wasn't the street. Kelly would be on the street. Thank goodness for her. She's a sweetheart. Yeah, she is a sweetheart. Yeah. And so then you turn around. The Red Cross. The Red Cross doesn't gonna. It's not gonna last for forever, right? No, no. Uh, they gave us a couple of bags of uh, like tissues in it and uh, shampoo, and toothpaste, and. Yeah. and Stuff like that. So how long do you, uh, what, the Red Cross going to help you? Uh, that's probably, they, they got a hold of me yesterday, probably a couple of days, they called me again. 
as me now big heart small city is looking for a place big heart small city it's not the big organization city, from city, uh, like that. yeah from from Moncton. yeah from Moncton. Yeah. Uh, jason surratt jason surratt, jason surratt. Uh, there's uh the base of the Ferguson there was a guy took over also from Ferguson for the Ferguson area okay so, uh, uh, has there you know, been anybody else uh, uh, they're, they're, they're like i got I, I i my work where i work part time they got some donations over there, there for me. And, uh, there's uh, Kelly. Kelly bought us, uh, took us out and got us, get some clothes. Yeah. Okay. So, so uh, uh, where where are you gonna live? Uh, I don't know yet. Right now. And right now we're at the Fort Nashwalk Hotel. For how long? 11 a.m. To 11 a.m. Tomorrow, tomorrow morning. 11 a.m. We gotta get an extension if we don't find a place for another couple of days. Cause we, so. Yeah, because we have a 1-800 number to call for the social worker tomorrow or Social later worker. Today. Social, New Brunswick social yeah. worker. Yeah. So uh, 1 800. Hour yeah. number. Uh, don't, do you have a case worker? Uh, yeah, we do, but she barely answers the phone. <laughs> and, 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 and plus, you don't have a car. No, I don't no. have a car. And uh, if you don't have no money to, uh, you don't want to take a bus and have to wait a couple hours there. It's the highest peak of the city, way, 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 way up there. In the middle there. of nowhere. In the middle, middle of nowhere. So no, uh, case, your caseworker haven't contacted you. No, Jack, because I haven't had a chance because it was Saturday. No, no, I like my, I, li I like my story better. If I can make the caseworker, yeah, the caseworker didn't my... contact me. <laughs> no, no, that's all right. They want to come after me. Tell them come, come after me. You okay? So no problem. So bottom line, by eleven o'clock tomorrow morning, you're homeless. Yeah. And no social worker ever. They gotta call your social worker. Yeah, you gotta call my social worker to make an extension for the hotel over there. What about housing? Housing, uh... Would they give you housing? Would you take housing? They, I had a bad experience with housing before, but if, if anything will help, I'll take it, if... You're lucky it's not... You're, you're lucky it's not minus 40 uh, wind chill. Yeah, yeah. That's a good thing. I'm lucky I wasn't asleep. So you're going to sleep uh, under the uh, overpass and, uh, under the walking bridge? I might have to. <laughs> <laughs> if they don't Maybe give me get, uh, get the gadget here, you know. Just, yeah, I'm just going put Patty in the back there. And <laughs> what do you think about all this? Well, it was a little shocking and stuff at first, and I have to be strong for him because he was a mess, and I dealt with all like the Red Cross forms and everything. So whatever I agreed with the Red Cross, he has to agree now. Yeah. So. Yeah. Mm. But your people of faith. If you, yep. And you think everything's gonna be. You believe everything's gonna be all right. Yep, that's true. Cause like he went to work yesterday just to keep his mind off things and I was at church and people were giving me like donations of like clothing and asking me for furniture and stuff and I said well furniture I just can't really take right now and toiletries I was given and only got one job it's only seven hours a week and uh, that's you got, all you need, you need help you need donations you need, you need furniture yeah. you need a place to live. Place to uh, live. And, uh, I, I ha only way to get the furniture right now is when I have a place right away. And yeah. Then I can oh yeah, Fable, Fable could help you there. Yeah. Other people, yeah. but if you get the worm in, if we could help, uh, I just don't don't answer that. Uh, if you could turn around and help Sir Syrians and help other families with furniture and everything, surely you could help a mm -hmm. person that don't answer that. That could burn. Uh, that's been the house been burnt down. Okay. So the bottom line is, you can be contacted and how? How can they contact you? Uh, they can contact me. Uh, I'll be at the hotel uh, till tomorrow morning, possibly longer. Uh, you got a phone number? I got, yeah, I got a phone number. It's 238-6421. What? Area code 506-238-6421. That's the cell That's phone. my cell phone number. I had uh, with me at the time. Anybody want to uh, see me in public, give me some donations, or doing something to help these two people? We'll see what's going to happen. Stay tuned. Good luck. To be continued. Good luck. <laughs>